Gender, bathrooms, and pronouns will take center stage in Columbus tomorrow when the State Board of Education meets. Members will vote on a resolution to formally oppose federal guidance that gives Title IX protections to transgender students. But some in Cincinnati tell Local 12's Luke Jones they plan to push back on this. Attacking trans students is not on my agenda. Cincinnati inclusion consultant Bryce Mickey is gearing up for a fight. He's already written to the State Board of Education and is considering traveling to Columbus Wednesday as the board votes on a resolution declaring sex an unchangeable fact and urging school districts not to comply with proposed federal Title IX guidance. That guidance would force schools to address students by their preferred pronouns and allow them to use bathrooms matching their gender identity. Not complying would cost them federal funding. All the research that I've seen shows that children who are affirmed in their gender identity do better. They experience less bullying, less suicidal ideation. But some question where to draw the line. Board member Brendan Shea, who drafted the resolution, defended it last month. We've literally got kids who think they're cats and dogs using litter boxes in classrooms. The federal guidance would also prevent schools from revealing a student's gender identity, even to parents. That doesn't sit well with Lisa Chafee. They're literally robbing us of the opportunity to give our kids that unconditional love and support that they desperately need from us. The State Board of Education doesn't have the power to make school districts reject federal guidance. Still, Sean Jeffers worries it'll have the same effect. I would say where the harm is is that schools are not wanting to run afoul of the state of Ohio since that is their major funding. And so schools start to pass policies. And that could happen. But if the federal government puts its guidance in stone, any local objections would come at the cost of federal money. Luke Jones, Local 12 News. We did reach out to Cincinnati's State Board of Education member but did not hear back. The vote takes place tomorrow morning at 8.